I went to the spirit collections in the Natural History Museum and talked with curator John Ablett about the specimens there. So the spirit collections at the Natural History Museum are those specimens that are preserved in liquid. This is really different from the sort of dry taxidermy specimens that most people are familiar with, museum collections. These are specimens preserved in fluid, generally alcohol, but we do use some other preservatives as well. So I've been working at the museum for 18 years uh, and actually before I came to work here I didn't really have any idea of the research that went on here. Um, there's about 350 scientists that work here but uh, once I came I actually came as a part of my undergraduate degree and I was just absolutely fascinated by the work that went on here and I knew that it was my dream to end up working here. The Spirit Collections at the Natural History Museum are around 24 million specimens spread over seven floors. Uh, the tank room is the room that the members of the public get to see on their behind the scene visit and there's some really amazing specimens there, things like giant squid, half a colossal squid, uh, Komodo dragon, uh, Chinese uh, giant salamander and loads of other really interesting specimens. So the majority of the specimens here in the Spirit Collection uh, were sort of collected around the late 1700s uh, up, to, up to present day. Um, we do have a few earlier specimens, but, but the majority was sort of, yeah, late 1700s uh, through to the current time. So there's been some hugely important and uh, famous collectors who contributed to the specimens here. Um, probably the most famous is Charles Darwin. So we have quite a number of Darwin specimens, including some fishes and a beautiful octopus that he collected. So the spirit collections here are vital to the study of biology, uh, not just in the UK, but globally. They're a resource that scientists, students, and even members of the public can use to learn more about the natural world and our understanding of the animals and plants within them. So I work on mollusks, so I suppose my favorite specimen probably should be uh, a mollusk. And my favorite is probably uh, Archie, who is one of our giant squid specimens. Uh, she's the largest wet specimen we've ever preserved. She's 8.62 meters, and she's on display in the tank room. Everyone should definitely visit the Spirit Collections. I think it's my absolute favorite room in the whole museum. Such an amazing variety of different types of animals, learning about the history, uh, and just seeing some of the amazing specimens that the public just generally don't know about and don't get to see. So members of the public can arrange a visit to the tank room by going online and booking tickets.